We at Theme Park Bard are taking a gamble. So originally this was supposed to be like a full Chessington Park vlog or at least a full video from the world of Jumanji and we ended up having that ride on Mandrill Mayhem and spending the rest of the day with our family and doing the other existing rides. At Chessington it was quite busy so didn't get any more content filmed which means this is literally just a Mandrill Mayhem review but I'm quite happy with the review that I filmed so it's going out and um, yeah enjoy. We're at Chessington for the first time since the world of Jumanji's opened and in order to get on the coaster there is a virtual queuing system and I don't know how to use yeah and, <laughs> and it's only opened once in the last week so um, yeah and that was yesterday so that's a good sign and it was open for hotel guests earlier looks like it's come down so we'll see what happens um, yeah quiet intro at the busy um, entrance but yeah we will see what happens with this whole reserving and riding and virtual queuing and mandrill mayhemming hopefully anyways now i have a bit of space right away to vampire because mandrill mayhem's closed dragon's fury's closed and hasn't even tested um but yeah there we go we're gonna try and get inside the new area at some point well we can get in the new area there's just no guarantee we'll get on the roller coaster but yeah we'll see what happens it's gonna mainly be a mandrill um like well the jumanji vlog i tell you what this area has shut up and while I walk past this fence, it reminds me of a couple years ago when we would peek the camera through air to see the construction and well now it now it's blocked by a shipping container which is Mandrill Mayhem Station. Anyway, yeah there we have it. Messy and chore as usual. But uh, yeah, good to be back at Chessington. Well Mandrill update then. Apparently, I'm reserved. Now it was still saying it were closed and whatnot. But I just tapped away. It said like closed and then like the queue was full and all that and then there was a thing that said reserved for zero minutes when it reopens um, so I thought oh well, what will happen if I tap this and then the QR code comes up so I, I, I assume after this going vampire I, yeah we have straight to water, as long we? as we're on it within 40 minutes we'll, we'll be okay and just like that we are inside a brand new world of Jumanji and normally when we enter a new area, a brand new area we take it quite chill, we take it all in um, <laughs> we basically had 30 seconds to spare at the time of um, our QR code being scanned so we had to just like walk through in my speed like straight down like the entrance to the area is all over there and yeah, Mandrill's over here but yeah we made it so as long as it doesn't do what it's been doing this week to us it, it's looking good but yeah wow <laughs> yeah we can just about see the area from over here it's rather nice um yeah i thought we'd have loads of time to spare but yeah vampire that queue took a lot longer than i thought it would um but it is what it is there's free rides in this new area and I don't remember the name. Ostrich Stampede is over there. I don't know the name of that one. And Manjo Mayhem is over everywhere. And hopefully we'll get to try all three of them today. Now the queue seems big but there's an even bigger area that's not even being used at the minute. So that's interesting. Like it'd be very long when all this is full. Um, yeah, I assume it would be better for them to just open all this and free up more spaces for the virtual queue though. That, my friends, was a pleasant surprise and we can't complain at a front row ride for our first ever time on Mandrill Mayhem. Got the credit as well. Nice little plus one that Chessington have gifted us. That is not a bad ride at all. Um, yeah, some good forces there. Um, because we were at the front as well, when we came backwards, it reminded me a bit of Fury's backup, stuffed as it sounds. So when coaster and you come off the launch and you go down the dip, um, obviously not Fury's backup level, but um, yeah, um, love that. You probably only do get that on the front, um, but yeah, it's um, 
assigned seating. However, um, yeah, we got the front. Um, they were asking for a group or two. Um, we were very close to the front. And yeah, there we have it. Can't argue with those forces for a family coast from those that launch. Um, yeah, basically, for some reason, they don't actually. I assume this is because of the station. Oh, it's doing it again. I still need that new SD card. Guy. I've just lowered the frame rate, like setting on the camera. So who knows? Maybe that will make a difference to the, the clips. Keep stop recording. But yeah, um, how they do it is um, yeah. For some reason, I assume it's because of the station fly through. Don't actually let you uh, into the air gauge ready to get on as soon as they open. Um, like pretty much every ride in the world. Um, but yeah, how they do it is pretty efficient to be honest. Um, they have a train's worth of people waiting on each side um, and then yeah, when you get let through you get sent straight to the back like if you're first for example and then work your way down to the front obviously because we ended up in that group last because they were asking for a group of two. Um, yeah, we ended up on the front so yeah, to be honest yeah, pretty efficient loading procedure. I heard that it wasn't great. Um, but yeah, like, I thought it was okay. Then you board the train as quickly as you can, obviously. Um, and yeah, solid dispatches. Um, before I get onto the trains, um, considering it's a pretty lengthy ride with one train, and it's the boomerang coaster, capacity is obviously an issue. Um, but that queue moves up really quickly. Um, that's what it felt like anyway. Um, maybe it was just because it was new, but I felt the queue moved up really quickly. Um, don't think we were waiting there long at all. And yeah, we basically waited like all the way around there um, to the station there. Um, thought we were going to be there for quite a while. And I didn't time it, but yeah, it's not been that long at all. Um, and there was a little delay in there as well, don't think I mentioned. It literally went down for five minutes and they got it back up and running after one more test train five minutes later. So, can't complain of that either. Um, and then, yeah, we got on. The restraints, obviously, I may have complained about the swarms restraints on this channel before. They're a bit hard on the shoulders. I actually felt that those restraints are harder than the swarms. The swarms restraints are a bit softer and have a bit more padding it feels but um, yeah um, because it's not as forceful as the swarm it wasn't too bad. You can still hold them up and whatnot. Um, yeah it, you know I didn't find it too bad honestly. Um, not as bad as I thought I would do when I first put them down. Then yeah, you launch back, you launch forward, love the launch, and that inversion is as good as I thought it would be, both forward and backwards. Um, I bet on, if you're on the back row, it's better going backwards. Um, but yeah, like we're lucky enough to have been on the front there. And yeah, going forward through that inversion. Um, pretty decent speed because you've just come out of the launch. Like, yeah, very good. It's like, I thought Chester Tim were going like, right family coaster level for the future. Now when they got rid of stuff like um, Ramesses Revenge and they got rid of um, Pocus Pocus Hall, I think it was for Room on the Broom, I thought, right, yeah, they're going on like, kiddie park route. Um, for the future and then they go and have that inversion on a coaster and that launch like really good we get this inversion it's shot in a minute if it doesn't stop recording um, but yeah and then the rest of it is literally just um, follow it round go on there up there that bit is quite slow can't lie um, but it's what it is it's the boomerang coaster it's got to have that bit to get the momentum for the backwards part um, yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Takes its time. But yeah, very good, very good. And then yeah, like I said, there's just not much in between. And you do the whole thing again, backwards. Am I following it right? There we go. Couldn't have done this a few weeks ago and I couldn't see the screen. Um, but yeah, that's Mandrill Mayhem. We're gonna go for dinner now and then we will try the other two rides in this area. Manuel Mayer in this area, I tell you what, it's, exceed, it, it's exceeded expectations. Like, I didn't think it was going to be 
anything spectacular and um, yeah it's a very good family coaster that shame about the whole virtual queuing thing I assume like in a year or two's time when it's not the brand new thing they might just open it all up for a free for all um, and yeah you know as much as it felt like the queue moved up quickly it's obviously not ideal with having one train on a ride like that in a park like this but yeah like I say my experience was pretty efficient on manual mayhem and yeah hopefully we'll give it another go later on today if we can with this whole virtual queuing stuff we'll see but um, priority now i guess is getting on the other two rides um and yeah we'll go for dinner now and then um, yeah, we'll try out the existing attractions at Chessington. But yeah, saw this area get shot up. Um, and yeah, now I've been on the coaster. Impressed.